I'm going to show you how to put this text on a curve. Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here. Today I'm using Infinity Design to put some text on a curve. Now this is a commission that I've had from somebody and the brief was to produce something that looks Victorian, Moulin Rouge type theme and a bit risque and the finished painting is going to hang in a Victorian themed bar. Um, so I can't, I know I normally do a painting on a Sunday and this is going to be a painting but I can't show it you until it's hanging in the bar because that would spoil the impact. So I just thought for this week I would show you um, how I've uh, done the text because that's not really going to spoil anything but uh, it still gives me a chance to get a video out there. So I'm sorry there's not a painting. Uh, the actual painting is going to be done in Procreate which hopefully uh, I'll have for you next week. But I've done the text in Infinity Design because I don't know of any application on an iPad that will do this. So if you do, uh, if you have a, a, a program that could do this, please put in the comments below and, and let me know because it would have been so cool to do the old thing on the iPad. This is going to be a huge painting. It's 222 centimetres wide and a drop of 142 centimetres. So it's going to be a big, big painting. And I can do it in Procreate. So let's stop talking and let's get straight into this. So I'll begin... By opening Infinity Design, I create an artboard of the size I've just mentioned, 222 centimeters by 142. And then at that point, I select the ellipse tool and draw a, a, an ellipse to pretty much fill my artboard. Now, if you want to keep the ellipse, you need to duplicate it because uh, once I put the text on the curve, it will destroy the actual ellipse. Uh, so just be aware of that. So at this point, I select the artistic text tool, which is in the tool options. It's one of the tools. And what you need to do is select the ellipse and move the cursor over the ellipse. And you'll see a little green marker. At that point, you can start typing and you can slide the green marker to adjust the text and also you can change the ellipse size to fit and adjust so that you get the text exactly how you want it and you can resize the old thing by looking for a little square bottom right of the ellipse and you can it's like an extra box is uh, each corner of the rectangle as a little square then there's another square bottom right you click on that and then you can drag it to resize the old object now at this point you could consider the text to be uh, finished and ready to move on to the next line but if you look closely the spacing between the letters is uneven because putting it on the arc has uh, sort of changed the dynamics between each letter. So if you look between the letter the R and the E there's a lot less space than there is between the P and the L. So that space between the letters is called kerning or kerning and I am going to adjust the spacing between each letter just because it's irritating me. So this is how you do it. You select a letter, in this case I've selected the P, I choose the character drop down menu and I look for the icon that shows two letters uh, that are being spaced apart and I adjust that and you can see I'm going through the letters one at a time and just changing that space so that I'm happy with how the old things look and that is what makes the, di the old difference uh, to something that looks quite amateurish and something that looks um, well laid out and professional. So I recommend you do do that. At this point, I use the colour picker to change the colour of the lettering and I also add an outline to it and I change uh, that to a, a really dark colour. I don't want to go into that too much because this is about putting text on a curve and if I get into that, this video is going to be massive, so I'm just going to skip over that bit. You can also fit text to a curved line. Now, to draw a curved line, select the pen tool from the tool menu, click the mouse to create a point, 
move your mouse to a new spot, click and hold the mouse down. If you drag the mouse with the left mouse button held down it will uh, create a curve instead of a straight line once you're happy with it take your finger off the mouse move to another point click and hold and then drag the mouse again to get a nice curve you can then adjust the line to fine tune it by selecting the node tool and uh, just move the nodes and uh, adjust the handles to get the exact curve that you want. Here I just type in some text on a straight line that I need before I start uh, adding the text that I want on the curve. Once I've got the line exactly how I want it, I choose the artistic text tool again and then add my text and I go through the same process as before. I change the kerning or adjust the kerning slightly just to get a better spacing of the letters and I then move the letters around to get them positioned as I want. I change the colour slightly to uh, get a different effect. Once I'm happy with the layout I then export the whole thing as a PNG. You will notice that the um, background is transparent and that's important because I want the text to sit over what I'm going to paint. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me uh, a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have lots of videos about digital painting. This isn't typical of what I do. So please go out and check some of my other videos. Uh, I think you will be pleasantly surprised. So I'll say goodbye and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.